All right, here we go. So create um, JS API CLI app. Um, all right. And yes, yeah, so I think the default is going to be the uh, Webpack app. Let's go and do that. And I jack something up. So uh, why did we remove, or why did I remove the um, uh, framework templates? And that's because you don't need them, right? So let's say, for example, I do create React app, right? So MPX uh, create React app uh, mm, JS API app. Is that right? And it's all you need to do to create an app. Um, so you don't really need it for something like if you want to do create React app. Um, and we actually have some samples in here. If you go to uh, JS API resources, uh, there is a folder in here called uh, ESM samples. And there's a JS API create React app uh, sample in there. Um, basically, you just need to do a couple of these um, copy functions. And I'll show you how to take care of that in a second. There's this create React app. Does this thing. Wow, that's taking a long time. I don't use React too, uh, too often. I mean, I do, but just because I have to use it for some projects. So um, it's fine. I know it might react and get around just fine. But this is taking a little longer than I expected it to. Okay. Let's set these install for a second. Run it one more time. I think it's going to do the copy now. I don't know if it'll do the... Yeah, it'll do the... It should have done the copy already. Um, but yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's say. So yeah, there we go. We're good. We're good. Uh, one other thing that you should probably do is... Um, in the package JSON, uh, I would do this. Because uh, the JavaScript API doesn't uh, support IE11. Um, pretty much just um, you know, more modern browsers and stuff. You don't want that browser list in there with some of those uh, numbers or else uh, get jack stuff up. You can make it work, but it's kind of a pain in the ass if you want to try and um, inject some babble nonsense or whatever in there. So, okay. So we've got that done. Uh, let's go ahead and do something like um, do I have a sample in here what I'm doing? I'm just going to try and uh, make some stuff here. Uh, app.js, right? So, I'll copy all that. And boom, so there's our, our app, new app.js file with all the JavaScript API goodness inside of it, uh, importing from core and everything. Um, let me just double check over here. I believe I also have to do the CSS. Uh, like over here. Yeah, see. Like so. Alright, then let me, let me just double check my, my code. I forgot what I was doing. That's what happens when you do copy paste, right? Like, you know, you're like, what the heck is happening here? Um Oh, I want, so if you look at the, um, where is it, uh, HTML file, there's a root. You want to make sure that because, you know, you're dealing with maps and stuff like that, you want that root to be uh, full. So that's why we have this uh, bit of code here. All right, boom, copy that. Yeah, kind of things you just got to do so that the map shows up right. If uh, everything's not like 100% and, um, or at least where you're going to show the map, which in this case is going to be the entire page. If it doesn't have these width and height set, then um, you end up with a very small little corner. It may not be able to draw. You won't see it. Some weird behavior and stuff when things like that happen, right? So, okay. So we're good there. Uh, let me... Ah. Wrong project. CD, where am I at? JS API app. There we go. Um, I forget. What's uh, the command? I think it's npm start, right? For React project. 
Uh, yeah, npm start. So first, uh, first time, it's gonna take a little bit. Do the build. Cross my fingers, this works. I didn't break this. Come on, you can do it, boy. Yeah, first build takes a little bit because it's gonna uh, do the build for the API bits it needs. Um, yeah, it's gonna copy those uh, assets from the public folder like it normally does to uh, wherever the build goes. I think in Create React App, it's all from memory at this point. So it just kind of sits there. Uh, things actually are a little faster, I think, if the Webpack build is set up to it so it um, runs from disk. And there's actually some um, caching you can do in that case. But since we don't have access to the Webpack uh, config for Create React App, it's not something you could uh, really do. Uh, so I didn't like the unused bar. Is there an error? No. What am I doing here? Oh, the map div. Really? Has a class? I know I give it a class. Okay, so then I've got to. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, I did give it a class. Look at that. All right, so basically, I got to go in here now. Uh, I forget what I did. Uh, app CSS here. Yeah, so I don't have the header or anything anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all this nonsense because I don't need it. Let's copy this. Boom. Come over here. And there we go. There's our map. All right. Um, so yeah, so I, I pretty much just modified some CSS in here. I added my code for the JavaScript API with the ArcGIS core, and it just works. There's not really a need to um, have a template file uh, from the CLI to do React apps, because it will just work. Uh, it's complaining that I doesn't like unused var for view. So let me um, just real quick, if you get this, I like to just do something like this. This error pops up more often than I'd like. So I just say that uh, a log view ready. And I get rid of that little ESL error. No big deal. But yeah, my map just works. Everything's stupid fast, right? I mean, you saw how fast that little rebuild there was. Um, yeah, you're good to go. Uh, even in dev mode, some of the rebuilds might take a few seconds or so because, I mean, it's a big API and everything. Um, there's a lot of assets to copy over that uh, do a lot, but you're fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, you know, if you're not running on like a really old machine, hopefully, you should be good. So that's some of the updates with the ArcGIS core. Um, that's the reason why we don't have the template apps in CLI anymore. The view CLI works pretty similar. So if you uh, can make it work to create, re create React app, you can make it work with the view CLI. So that's pretty much all I wanted to go over. Um, the questions come up a couple times now. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure uh, that was pretty clear. But thanks a lot. Have a good one. Avatar. Bam. Okay. Now I need to add it to my test. Let's go ahead and add. See, and if I uh, were doing this as the spec, you know, alongside it, like I was telling you about, I don't think you have to do all this. I think the, the test command, dojo test, would pick it up. Okay, so npm t to run the test. It's testing and test completed. I should have ran this beforehand so that we can see the test fail. But uh, we'll do that now. Um, so, okay. That was pretty simple. Uh, we could, you know, we've got our, I can get rid of this now. Oh, 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 